Breaking news, Celtics fans. Boston has signed forward Lamar Stevens to fill their final roster spot before the 2023-24 NBA season. You're watching Celtics Today by Chad Sports. I'm Tyler Smith, aka Producer Smitty. I've been running this channel with host Ali Barefoot for a little bit now, and I'm excited to finally show you guys uh, myself and uh, what I can offer to this channel. So let's break down this signing. Lamar Stevens is a 6'8", 225 forward out of Penn State. He was actually a bucket in college for the Nittany Lions, averaged about 19.9 points his junior year. Guy was a 20 point per game scorer in college, especially in the Big Ten, which is a tough thing to do. His senior year dipped a little bit in the points per game average to about 16.3, but the efficiency went up. So Lamar Stevens is a player that actually, I believe, gets better every single season. He's only 25 years old and he was still sitting here at the end of NBA free agency. The Celtics were lucky to scoop him up. His skill set is honestly, in my opinion, a utility guy. He's not going to be the guy that has the ball in his hands, you know, initiating an offense, um, you know, taking off the dribble jumpers. That's not really his game. He definitely likes to operate uh, either on the wing or on the baseline, and he is a teammate who makes himself available. He's somebody who definitely likes to rim run. Defenses forget about him, and he makes them pay for it by running to the rim and slamming down a dunk with authority. Now, that's not it, though. Because Lamar Stevens actually has a little bit more finesse uh, than, than some other players that you might think. He has this one move that he likes to go to down low. Uh, it's a, you know, put your pivot foot down, shimmy, and take a fadeaway jumper. And more often than not, he likes to go glass with it. So he's a pretty finesse player when you really think about it. But as far as his NBA career has gone so far, he has played his three seasons in the league with the Cleveland Cavaliers, averaging five points per game in 2022-23, along with three rebounds and every other stats under one. So definitely a player who can put the ball in the basket when needed, grab a rebound, defend. He has a really long wingspan, so he can guard multiple positions. And that's, I think, a reason that Brad Stevens wanted to sign him as to the final roster spot. If you actually think back to last season, uh, Boston had an overtime loss in Cleveland, and Lamar Stevens actually made a tough layup through contact to put the Cavs up four with under a minute remaining. So not afraid of the moment whatsoever, Lamar Stevens. I'm sure Brad saw that and was like, you know what? That's a guy I could see wearing Celtic green. Now, as far as what his role will be on the Celtics, you think back to this summer, we lost Grant Williams, a guy who can guard multiple positions and hit the corner three. Lamar Stevens... I think can do that exact thing. Now, I don't expect him to be playing the minutes that Grant Stevens commanded, or Grant Stevens, excuse me, Grant Williams commanded throughout his tenure in Boston. But listen, we have injury prone bigs here on the Celtics. If Lamar Stevens needs to step in and fill that role, I'm confident he can do so. Now, shot about 45% from the field last season, not too bad. And actually, in 2021-22, Shot pretty poorly from three-point percentage, about 27%, but in 23, increased his volume and efficiency up to 32%, which is about league average. So he's not afraid to step out and take that outside shot, and I'm confident that he can play that Grant Williams type, which Grant was famous for, hitting corner threes. I think Lamar Stevens can do the exact same thing. Now, as far as where he'll fit in this rotation, we got to think about this for real. It is the last roster spot on the Celtics. So... Is he going to be commanding 20 minutes per game like he played in Cleveland? I don't think so. Uh, but I think it's a good thing for him. I think he's a guy who is always waiting for his moment. And he's somebody who can fill in when needed. And that's what we're looking for in the last couple of roster spots in the Celtics. If you look at the rotation right now, it's truly seven deep as far as we know uh, who will be commanding minutes. At the one, it's Derek White. At the two, it's Jalen Brown. At the three, it's Jason Tatum. At the four, you'd think it's Chris Das Porzingis. And at the five, you go with Al Horford or Robert Williams. I think it's going to be Horford to start the NBA season. Off the bench, you obviously have Robert Williams or Al Horford, depending on who you decide to start at the five. And Malcolm Brogdon, the reigning sixth man of the year. Now, we've talked about Malcolm Brogdon much this week. Uh, apparently, reports coming out that he is angry with the team. So it's interesting to see, the, to see Brad Stevens and the Celtics sign a forward when there are reports of Bra uh, Mount Brogdon being unhappy. So obviously, internally, they believe that they are set on guards and they're okay to roll into this NBA season, potentially with Jason Tatum even playing a little bit of point guard to facilitate We've the offense. We've seen Jason Tatum do that before, running the second unit, 
and doing it to perfection. He's progressed so mightily as a playmaker throughout his tenure with the Celtics, and I'm excited to see the roles that they put him in outside of his main one on the wing. Now, I love this trend uh, that Brad Stevens is going to as far as what he's doing to fill out this Celtics roster. You look at teams around the league, you look at a Golden State Warriors, for example, and they had a visit with Dwight Howard, who was playing in China last season. And, you know, they were seriously considering giving him a roster spot. Now, they decided not to go that route, but Brad Stevens is taking a different approach. You look at the last couple of signings that the Celtics have had, and you look at Lamar Stevens, 25 years old, Svi Mikhailuk, 26 years old, O'Shea Brissett, 26 years old. He's taken flyers on guys who other teams, you know, really just aren't paying much attention to. They're more concerned with signing the Blake Griffins, the Dwight Howards, the Paul Millsaps of the world. And Brad Stevens is taking flyers on guys that could actually contribute to the lineup for a long stretch of the NBA season. With that said, grade the Lamar Stevens signing A, B, C, D, or F. I want to know what you guys think down in the comments. Did you guys think the Celtics would go a different route? Did you think they would re-sign Blake Griffin? Did you think they would sign a point guard, like potentially a campaign or an Austin Rivers, somebody who said he would love to join the Celtics just a few days ago? Let me know down in the comments what you guys think, and I would love to hear from you. I'll be talking. Share your thoughts down in the comments. As for my grade, I'd give it about a B. I was of the camp that thought Boston was going to go the route of signing a facilitating point guard that potentially could run the second unit uh, for their final roster spot. But granted, there weren't a ton of names out there that fit that mold. I was looking at a guy like potentially a campaign or even an Austin Rivers to a lesser extent that could help this Celtics team in a veteran role. But Lamar Stevens, I like this signing. I think he can guard multiple positions. I'm happy that Boston is going toward a identity of defense. Lamar Stevens is a guy who can guard multiple positions, like I said, down low, bang with the bigs, bang with the, the, the twos and threes, and be very good on that. And as well as put the ball in the basket when needed. Like I said, he expanded his three-point range a little bit this past season. Now, with all that said, please do subscribe to the channel because we are going to be having nonstop Celtics content all season long. That means every piece of news, just like this one, will have a video. Every rumor, like a trade rumor or a potential free agent signing next summer, we'll have a video. Post-game videos, watch parties during the NBA season, you name it. Any type of Celtics content that comes about, we will have content back for you. So definitely be sure to subscribe to the channel. We're Me and host Ali Barefoot, we're going to be going hard all year long to bring you the best Celtics content on not, not only just on YouTube, on the entire internet. It is going to be a blast. I can't wait for the Celtics season. We're going to get Banner 18, so make sure you're along for the ride with us and subscribe to the channel. You're watching Celtics today.